Everything is covered in a layer of sewage. Got two of the cutest girls in the whole wide lands there. Good morning, world! Tad's out here making Swedish pancakes, roll pancakes. pancakes. Chris. Did you know it's actually not St. Patrick's Day? It's today? actually. Yeah. I you don't know. St. Patrick's Day. No. It's actually, it's August. So Dad's out here celebrating St. Patrick's Day in August, making the girls a yummy breakfast. It is 8.04. Purple today. We, we are we in charge go. of. We gotta get going. We gotta do hairs. Payton's gotta change. You wore that shirt yesterday. Luckily, we are pretty much packed. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna finish up lunches. You gonna have a good day? Yeah. Today we are going to go buy all of the supplies for the refugees. And it is going to be a very good experience. I'm excited. So get your shoes on. Let's go. Palmer is setting up a movie time while the big kids are gone. Mom's at the gym. Rocky is still asleep. Palmer's gonna watch a show. Dad, why dad works. I'm gonna drop the kids off and then head to the gym. So we will see you guys in a little while. Girls, 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 girls. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just got home from the gym and there is like, I walk in the kitchen and there's like the weirdest sound coming out of the kitchen sink and I like look over it sounds like the disposal disposal's on I like out of breath I look over I'm like what's going on and all of a sudden it's just like sewage smell oh what is going on what is going on Jay oh my gosh it stinks Nothing's coming up, so I like, hurry and call JD, who's down in his office with Rocky, and I'm like, get up here, something's wrong. Not coming, not coming. I call him again, he's like, I'm in the bathroom dealing with it. All of our toilets, sinks started like rupturing. I don't know if you can see water all over the floor, all over the wall. Oh my gosh, it stinks so bad. Oh, it's still doing it a little bit. JD turned off our water. Did you hear that? Look, the toilet paper roll is soaked. There was water coming out of the sink, so he pushed it there. It's all over here, literally. I don't know, can you even tell? Like that's like standing water all over my floor. All three of my bathrooms are flooded like this, but it's like nasty sewage water. It stinks so bad in here. I don't know what happened. Like, we were not doing anything. Neither of us used the bathroom. Palmer was sitting on the couch. There's only four of us home. One of them can't do anything. Nobody used the bathroom. It's going on in all of the bathrooms. It stinks so bad. I don't even know what's going on. Didi just ran out front and there's like this. I'll, I will actually just go show you. There's a city truck doing something in a manhole. A hundred yards in front of our house. So JD just ran over to ask him like, what the crap is going on? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Sewage water flooding our basement? Like there's sewage water in all of our bathrooms. They're down there. Do you see them all there in the street? Doing something. And they were doing it like an hour ago in this manhole when I took the kids to school. So JD's talking to our neighbor. And if there's anyone that will get to the end of this, it is Ed. Ed is like the most responsible take note document person I have ever met. I'm sure if Ed's out there, it's probably affected our next door neighbor too. And we're in good company. Anyways, I'm gonna go clean it up and start washing all my rugs. All of our water's turned off right now. Oh my gosh, I have so much to clean. What the heck? So apparently they're flushing the sewer and pushing everything up. What? I, I have no idea. So they're pushing everything up so everything can flow through back down is what Ed said. Is it happening to him too? Is that no why he sense. was out there? Oh yeah. I'm guessing it did it to every single person on this street. What? What did they say? Did you say, um, there's sewage all oh, over yeah, our bathroom? I just got a phone number to call, calling the city right now, mm. telling them that we have water coming out of our toilets. All Literally over, oh yeah. Spew. Well, tell them I got it on camera if they need to watch. That's so gross. Well, I'm like, Going to shut off the water and it said, "Be all over me." You should shut I'm the shower, lid. Hold him before I gotta like I don't want him to seep in our floorboards. I'm gonna have to do all the rugs in the bathroom. Oh, and shower curtain. I'm gonna have to wash the shower curtain. Oh, it stinks so bad. It is everywhere. It's just like everything is covered in a layer. I'm gonna barf. Everything is covered in a layer of sewage. Oh, it's slimy and oh my we got gosh. in our walls and floors. <sighs> Hey, this isn't good. Look, it's got like the splatter of it. Like, look, this is like stained. What the heck? Oh, it should be a waterproof paint, right? This is so gross. Oh, I'm so grossed out right now. What do you think, bud? Is this disgusting? Oh, it's all under here. You tired, bud? So Michelle calls me and I, she's like, Mommy, come up here Mom, quick. Mommy. 
Michelle calls me and I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll come up right now. As I come out of the office, I hear water spewing out of the toilet out in, in the, off, the office bathroom. So I go run, turn off the water there as it's spewing all over me from the toilet. Thinking uh -oh. that that was gonna help, just turn it off. I mean, I, I wouldn't you think that turning the water off would all of a sudden um, shut Dad. everything off, but apparently not. Cause they're like pushing water through it. I think so bad. So my first job is to go around to all three bathrooms, clean up the water so it doesn't like get in the floorboards and warp them. And then I'll have to come back through, clean everything. And then I'm gonna have to come back through and sanitize everything. Oh, oh. I'm gonna film the city right now. I haven't seen this bathroom yet. Like what in the actual crap? Can you tell how much water is on this water? Here's an example. That was a not wet piece of toilet paper at one point. I'm gonna have to look back at the timestamp and see what time this happened at, but it was probably about 9.30. It is not even noon and Service Pro is already at our house. So we're really thrilled the quickness that they got out here. They did say that like there's three categories of water and sewage water is the worst. And so at first they were like, oh, we're gonna have to take out like drywall. We're gonna have to take out baseboards. And I'm like freaking out. <laughs> like this is every bathroom in my house. But he went around with, with this like moisture thing on the wall and we got it wiped up so fast that it looks like we're just gonna have to sanitize, replace some baseboards, a few things like that. They have three members of their team here right now working hard and I hopefully by the time the kids are home from school, it will be usable and clean. Cause right now I'm like, no Palmer, don't touch that. Don't that like it feels really dirty so this is not how I thought I was spending my day I thought I was going to go be buying all of the refugee stuff today so if you guys remember right we bought $1,100 to go buy stuff for the refugees coming into the Salt Lake area really excited about that we're gonna go do that this afternoon barring no more flood earthquakes anything like that to be honest guys I really thought it was an earthquake when it first happened it started shaking and making a weird sound so kind of taking a deep breath from that it was not an earthquake also not how I thought I'd spend my day JD is in meetings all day today because tomorrow on September 4th First, we launched Three Believe. Over a year for us and years for Derek and their other partners creating this business. In fact, I just am thawing out right now some of our chocolate chip muffins. You guys, 48 calories for this muffin and it is so good. This stuff is going to be huge. I cannot wait. So excited to share this stuff with you guys. So that's tomorrow. JD's down on a bunch of work calls, which means I am just going to be here spinning my wheels. It's amazing how things never turn out how you think they will. Came in here, it looks like they popped off all of these baseboards. I'm interested to see, is this water just from today? And it really sinks down that much? I need to ask him, why is the floor wet? I have so many questions. Also, I need to scrub my floor. Nothing makes you feel like a dirty person than seeing what's underneath your baseboards. Water damage can happen, like look back there. Wow, that's a little bit bad. It is now one o'clock, they are gone. They were here fast and efficient, I'm impressed. So they sprayed a chemical on it that basically just sanitized and neutralized the sewer. They did a really good job. But I now feel like I need to go through and like deep clean scrub, especially under the baseboards look at this what is this that they pulled out from under the baseboards <laughs> it looks like honestly crack makeup that maybe like got up under there and i didn't know that so i need to come through and just like deep clean scrub all of this but in all three bathrooms it is now been sanitized so this is definitely not how i plan to spend my day but i can now go shower and get moving on Hi. look who's home from school and he brought carter what happened to the baseboard what are you talking about the baseboard here do you know what she's talking about did you guys do something Peyton, did you do something? No. Peyton Michelle Maurer. What? What the heck happened? I don't know. I didn't touch it. I don't believe you. It does not just go away on its own. Jaybeck! <laughs> Beckham, did you do that? No. Weird. All of a sudden, the house started shaking and I thought we were having another earthquake. I was doing the dishes. They were flushing the sewer and water sprayed out of our toilets and got everywhere. Why? So we had to call an insurance company and this these workers is called Service Pro. They were at our house all day. They had to clean everything. They had to rip off the baseboards. So they're gonna come bring it back and fix them. But we had a flood of sewage water while you guys were gone to school day. <laughs> Nasty, huh? Yeah. Okay. You guys missed out a lot. Okay. Here, the kids are gonna each have a play date for about an hour and a half, and then we're gonna go buy stuff for the refugees. So we will see you then. Heading out, I've gotta make a list of like where to get the stuff. So like some stuff will probably be from Walmart, Costco, some will be from the dollar stores. It's gonna be a lot. They're ready to shop till they drop. We are ready to go. I am so excited for this moment. I wanna sit down and tell the kids a little bit about what we're doing, explain some of it to them because I'm sure they have questions. Refugee is not a word that we use in our everyday language. We have an awesome opportunity to do some service for people in need. There is a country called Afghanistan. 
Afghanistan. Yeah, um, my teacher was talking about that today. Yes, so there's a country called Afghanistan, and their government, like our president, has recently been taken over by some bad people. And so a lot of people had to leave the country overnight or immediately without any, without being able to pack their stuff. They just couldn't even get a pillow or a blanket. They not even a pillow or a blanket, not any of their family pictures, nothing that was important to them. They just had to run. And you know what? They had to run away. Hundreds and thousands of people have been killed. The lucky people that have been able to leave their country, there's some of them that are coming to America, but they don't have blankets, they don't have sheets, they don't even have a spoon to eat with, let alone diapers. food. They don't have diapers. You guys, the lady I talked to on the phone said, some families were coming with babies and their baby had been in the same diaper for days. Isn't that so sad? It made mommy just so sad. And now that we hit 25,000 subscribers, I was looking for something our family could do for a service project. And I felt very strongly that we should go buy stuff for these people. So some of our subscribers and our family and our friends have sent us money and we are gonna go spend that money to buy things so that when they come here to America, these companies can give them things like sheets and blankets. Isn't that a great opportunity? Yes. So, you felt a little bit emotional about it. Can you imagine though? Can you imagine how scary you would feel if you either had to leave all your stuff behind? Come here, buddy, come give me a hug. I love your big heart, buddy. And it is, it's very touching, huh? I love you. So with not a dry eye in the house, we are about ready to head off. I'm hoping that we can buy a lot of stuff. We have probably close to like 1,400 diapers that are gonna be delivered to our house today and tomorrow. So the first one's already started to come in by the door. So Costco had their diapers on sale last week. So I ordered over $300 worth of diapers and I had some friends who sent diapers to our house too. So they should arrive today and tomorrow. We're gonna go buy other stuff. Toilet paper, sheets, sponges, conditioner, shampoo, all the things that we can find so that these families can have a better start when they get here. The theme that I'm feeling tonight is just blessed. We are blessed. And because we have been given much, we too must give. Let's go. He's gonna get you. He is gonna get you. He's gonna get you. We are here at Costco. Our first stop, we are gonna get toilet paper and pizza. Maybe even some pan sets, maybe some silverware, who knows. We got two of those. Lots of trash. It's a seat! Holy cow, we got a car full. Car full of kiddos. You're doing all the heavy lifting. Storm is blowing in, guys. Floated up the truck, though, for with the first load. Apparently, right now, there must be another, like, run on stuff because you can only get one thing of toilet paper, one thing of paper towels. So we went back through a couple times and they let us. We had to, like, actually go, like, all the way in a circle. I swear, I'm not being selfish. We're gonna donate this. A few of the things you're gonna see are hours I spent our money on. Don't worry, like... The water melon, where did it go? <laughs> Just why we're here, thought I'd grab it. Truck bed is starting to fill up and we've only been to one store. Starting to get full. Starting to get full. Been to the dollar store now. And I just was doing the math and I was like, okay, we have $536 left. Jay's like, you're gonna spend $536 at the dollar store? Which I'm not, we still have to get some Walmart. Maybe sitting real nice. Is that a challenge? Because I could definitely spend $536 at the dollar store. Look at this train. Go, go, go. We need to pick 10 shampoos and 10 conditioners. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Getting 10 hand sanitizers. 10 of the hand sanitizers. Oh, placing them so nicely in the cart. We have 10 of these, Palmer. Can you put them in the cart? Go put them in your cart. But I'm still going over here. Go we'll get some more. 10 soaps. Oh, I love Irish Spring. I'm a big Irish Spring fan. Oh. So get 10 of those. I love the smell of Irish Spring. Doing such a good job. How many are we doing? 10 of these? Yeah. Okay. So we have one, two, oh, shnikes were spilled. <gasps> <sighs> Clean up on aisle five. There's another one. Three. How many, four, we got four, five. You guys aren't OCD, are you? Have to have it perfectly lined up and all that. Hey, can you get me 10? We got 10 toothpaste. Good job. Put my stomach cards. Oh, dang it. So Beckham. That as we were just doing that, does not feel good. He's got some type of sharp pain in his stomach. He does not look 
Good, huh? You don't feel good? Is it right here? It's like right here. I'm like, I wonder if it's in your appendix. Okay, well just rest up for a minute, okay? We'll see, hopefully it goes away here in just a minute, okay? If not, we'll have to figure out what we're gonna do. But hopefully it's not your appendix. Those appendix burst and can be scarier. So Michelle's gonna finish up real quick with the girls, but I just feel bad for this little dude. He does not feel good. We have three very full carts and a few things we can still get here. Palmer's pushing her own cart because dad's out there. This doesn't make you nervous. I don't know what does. Very interested. Comment below how much you think this stuff's gonna be. I bet we're gonna be upwards of 300 bucks here. All right, maybe I take that $530 thing at the dollar store way too serious. <laughs> All right, put it in there. Go over there and take a picture of you guys really quick. We can't stand on top. I need you to push this cart. Let's go check out and see how much you think this is gonna cost. What do you think, Pate? Throw out a number. I don't know. How much do we have? We're Probably gonna find out though. All right, 10 of everything. 10 of all of the things on their this? list. I don't know. We're nearing the end, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody anxious to see what the damage is? Remember when JD was like, $536, there's no way you can spend that at the dollar store. I'm gonna be close. I bet it's over 300. When you're all done, we'll get the final number here. We've made really friends with Ruben. I do wanna know. Do you really wanna know what it is? Cause it's getting- It's getting up there? It's getting worse. That's okay. <laughs> you know what? We just spent $600 at Costco. Oh my gosh. This can't be that bad. We've made friends. It's been like 20 minutes of ringing up stuff. Some people really need stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's not bad. 234. Oh, Is that more or less than wow. you thought, sis? Oh, more. I mean, less than. Less? Because I, I mean, thought it was going to be something in like thousands. I thought it was going to be like 300. And yeah. Well, that's kind of what I thought, too. <laughs> like that means we still have $360 to go buy like <laughs> sheets and pots and pans. That's the only thing left on their list is sheets and pots and pans. I just don't want all these to spill. If we can make them sitting up, that would oh, be a good If we can get it home, to our team, we'll get it. We are home, all the kids are in bed. I wanna show you, I just got done putting it into boxes. I actually had this feeling. All of that money of stuff you bought is going to leak if you don't go stick it up right. So I found boxes all over the place, took tons of stuff out of boxes so that I could, and sure enough, the very th first thing I pick up, just Clorox everywhere. Shampoo had spilled, soap had spilled. So I'm really grateful that I was only inside for like half hour putting the kids to bed, and then I was able to intervene and save everything. So I organized it into boxes, it's really organized, Tomorrow, remember, we have $300 worth of diapers and wipes coming, and then I have about $350 still to go spend on the rest of my stuff. So they needed pans, sheets, and darn it, guys, I can't think of what the other thing is. There's one more like bigger tick of item like that that I'm gonna go spend the rest of the money on. But look at all this goodness as a community we are doing. Come look at this. And the organizedness of this is just making my heart happy. We've got trash bags, Kleenex, all-purpose cleaner, window cleaner, sponges, body wash, feminine hygiene, first aid aid kits, garbage cans, razors, shampoo and conditioner, diapers, paper towels, three things of toilet paper because apparently there's a shortage of toilet paper again. Laundry soap, toilet cleaner, more sponges, more mirror cleaner, soap, deodorant, toothpaste, hand sanitizer, silverware. You guys, look at all of this. Thank you for making this possible, you guys. So grateful for all of you who helped make this possible. I'm gonna go in. JD is gonna be working till like one or two in the morning. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna cut him some water watermelon because he's being all healthy. It'll be a fun little treat for him tonight. Cut him some watermelon, tell him I love him, and I'm crawling into bed because I am exhausted. Thank you guys, every single one of you. Extra, extra thank you for making this possible. I feel so grateful to give my kids the opportunity like seeing Beckham crying, hearing Peyton talk to Ruben today, checking out the dollar store. I know that these are the things I want to teach my kids. This is what we're supposed to do in this moment, and I'm grateful for you guys helping make it possible. So thank you, and we'll see you tomorrow.